Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today I'm going to be unboxing some goodies I got from BB Craft. The first thing I want to show you these really pretty itty bitty tiny beads. I got two strands of them and these are called appetite beads and they're faceted and they're about um, three millimeters and there's about 151 pieces per strand. Aren't these pretty? I love them. They look very beachy to me. This next thing I want to show you came in this little bag here and these are synthetic turquoise and they're these little, um, I forgot what these are called, <laughs> um, but they are they're man-made and I knew this when I bought them. I just thought they were really cool looking. Um, but they are a turquoise. There's 22 pieces per strand. I got kind of a color theme going here. My next thing fits right into it too. This is actually natural wood lace. And I have, I believe, five strands here. Aren't these pretty? Let me move this so you can see it a little bit better. And these are um, six millimeters. And they are saying, let's see, how many? About 63 pieces per strand. So there's quite a few of those. Let me take these out so you can actually see how well this all goes together here. These next things I'm going to show you are Tibetan style pendants and they're also a synthetic turquoise. I'm actually really excited about these. Let's see if I can get these open. I love the containers that they all, all these things come in. These are a lot bigger than I had anticipated. Ooh, these are nice. These are going to make really nice um, pendants. These remind me of sunflowers. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's these. So we have, see, one, two, three, four. five, six different pair, and you can make earrings out of them. I was thinking they might be a little too heavy for that, but these are actually pretty lightweight, so they would make fun earrings, that's for sure. The last thing I'm going to show you are these spacer beads. By the way, if you hear some banging around, my husband's fixing something that broke, so I apologize for that. But anyway, this is 120 piece, 8 millimeter spacer beads, corrugated round metal. And there are, let's see, four different colors. Let's see if I get this off. Whoops. There we go. These are really nice here. Oh yeah, I like these. So we have the silver, we have the antique copper, which would be right here. Here's some antique brass, and then uh, the gold color, and then the silver. Aren't those pretty? And these, like I said, are very substantial. They got some good weight on them. So these are my picks from BB Crafts this month. I am really pleased with them and I'm looking forward to doing some creating with them. In fact, if you stay tuned here, I'm going to get some things organized and uh, we're going to make something. I don't know what yet, but uh, if you're interested in any of these goodies, I will leave links to each and every one of these and to uh, BB Craft, their website. And by the way, if you use the code HIPPIE5, you can get a little bit of a discount. Anyway, let me get some things gathered up and let's do some creating. So I think I'm going to make a necklace and I've been looking at all these pendants and um, I, I really like this one. And it's 
getting close to Valentine's Day, so I thought maybe this. Here's another one I really like, the sunflower. But you know what? I think I'm going to use this one right here. So I need to put a bale on this so it will hang right on the necklace. So I'm just taking some, um, I think this is 22 gauge wire. And I'm just going to do a quick wrap. By the way, you've probably heard, besides all the banging, a lot of other noise in the background. We've actually been fighting the you know what. Yes, the big C. And so we have a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but my husband and I are here. And our granddaughter that we were taking care of, she's got it too. And so we're quarantining and we're trying to coexist with each other. And uh, it's quite noisy. So I apologize for that. But anyway, it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this bale all made up. And once I get this done, I'm going to be using everything that I got in this shipment. I'm going to be using these beads, these really pretty appetite beads these paisleys, and the silver beads, two of them. So what I'm planning on doing is I'll put this guy in the middle, do the paisleys where they're facing up, and then um, an appetite crystal, and then the silver beads, appetite crystal, and then these uh, natural wood beads flanked with the appetite and just keep on going all the way until I get all the necklace. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out and uh, get them strong up and then we'll go from there. By the way, I just wanted to let you know, um, those of you who've been following me for any time know that our uh, one of our grandsons is getting ready to have surgery with the craniosynostosis. He was supposed to have it uh, yesterday, but due to the outbreak of the big C, um, he has been put on hold for that very needful surgery. So uh, I would appreciate any thoughts and prayers um, that y'all could uh, send us this way. That's why we have our granddaughter here. And unfortunately, she got exposed to the big C. Um, anyway, Kind of a very frustrating long story, but uh, we're doing okay, and uh, I'm finally back creating again. <laughs> so anyway, let me get these strung up. All right, we have a change of plans. So a couple of things happened. Uh, these little paisleys, they actually flipped. So they are not going to really make a good fit for the design of necklace that I intended. They'll make great earrings, and I'll address those probably at a late, in a later video. But, uh, so I just teetotally changed the whole uh, design of the necklace. Uh, by the way, these little appetite beads are so tiny. I had the hardest time finding the holes. I really love the look uh, using this um, natural wood um, lace. I think that's what they call this. Let me make sure. Yeah, wood lace, natural wood lace. Uh, it pairs really nice with the appetite and um, these Tibetan style beads and pendant here. So what I'm going to do, I was going to go all the way around using these little tiny beads, crystals in the middle, but my eyes have told me to stop. <laughs> So I'm going to finish the rest of it up with some chain. Um, I am topping it off with a little tiny silver tone seed bead. And then I'm going to use this clamshell bead tip. And I'm going to tie a couple of knots on top of each other. Make sure these are tight 
and then I'm going to put them inside the opening of this bead tip and close it up like so and then clip this off and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end but this time I'm gonna need to have a pin to uh, feed the knots into the opening of this bead tip. So I'm just going to use this pin here. And just slide the knots in there one at a time. I don't want it to be too tight, but I don't want it to be too loose. Um, if it's too loose, you'll be able to see the beading wire. If it's too tight, it gets real stiff looking. You don't want a stiff looking necklace. And just close this up like so. Flush cut that extra end there. By the way, I also wanted to show you, since I did a different uh, pendant, I just used a, um, a jump ring on there. I actually used a pretty thick jump ring instead of using wire for the bail. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chain on this little loop there and close it up. And I want this to be an 18 inch and I'm also going to be using this large lobster claw and I'm going to need another jump ring. I thought I had one here but let me go get another jump ring. So let's measure here. Oh, I actually need another. I got a split ring. I need one more split ring. <laughs> We're looking at a little over an inch in our uh, class finding here. So I'm going to keep that in mind when I'm measuring this. So I need this to be 17 inches. So... That would have been 18, but allow room for the clasp. Let's clip that. All right. I was going to say, I don't know if I'm going to get that on there. All right. Close this up. And then I'm going to measure to find the middle here. Okay, and then I need my split ring opener here. These things are really nice to have. All right, and then I need to get another split ring. I'm going to put that on here and on there, and we have a finished necklace. So we've got a completed necklace here. Yeah, just put the two split rings on the other each, each end there. I've got the chain to all these beautiful beads. We've got the natural wood, um, what are these called again? Natural wood lace stones. 
We've got the Appetite Crystals. We have these Tibetan beads and drop right there. I'm loving the way this turned out and I'm really anxious to show you what I'm going to do with the other pendant that was supposed to be on here and these. So stay tuned for another video coming up soon. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.